liftoff, go Super Heavy, go Starship. Thanks for all the historic flights, Pad 1. Vehicles catching downrange. All right, our VACs have shut off. But it has been an awesome day so far. It's crazy. All this has happened in just 10 minutes. And shut down. Starship is slowing for entry. Rantry is also extremely demanding portion of flight because we need the ship to scrub off all of the energy we used to launch the rocket. So remember the 33 engines plus the six engines on ship that we used to get up into space, we now are using aero braking essentially to scrub off all that energy. And of course, Starlink is a big part of this, giving us the views we have right now and also letting us gather as much data as possible, which again, is really the main reason why we do these flights. Yeah, and that blanket of plasma distorts communication frequencies, so it's not uncommon to experience brief blackouts in communication. So we will hear a call out when the ship is transonic and then subsonic. Transonic refers to the period of flight where the velocities of airflow surrounding and flowing past the vehicle are concurrently below. Every time we do it, we throw something new and the ship makes it through. This time, we're, we're really pushing it. We've removed these tiles in some of the spots that see the highest level of heating. Looks like we can see some clouds down there as we pass through 70 kilometers altitude. Yeah, the, the sun's starting to come up again. We, ooh, there we go. There we go. And as a reminder, we're, in addition to these missing tile tests, we're doing kind of a unique flight on the way in. It's gonna do what we call a banking maneuver. So while we're still going supersonic and even hypersonic, we're doing kind of a banking turn. And then we'll do a pretty aggressive turn right as we get into the subsonic and start doing our belly flop. And that's designed to essentially be the approach that we would do on a return to launch site in a tower catch. So uh, don't be surprised if we see the ship start to turn and make a few maneuvers as it makes its way down to the Indian. And fun fact, even though we're doing all this turning, we're essentially targeting, targeting the exact same spot in the Indian Ocean we went to last time. All right, just about 12 minutes to go. Still looking good. That gives a pretty good view of those aft flaps where again, on the leading edge, I think it might be on the one on the other side, we had some tiles removed with no backups behind it. So again, we're, we're really trying to stress some of the, the most sensitive areas around starships where basically if you lose a tile, it's, it's the worst possible spot. And, if we're able to make it through this, then that tells us quite a bit about just how resilient this vehicle is. Yeah, and that shot we just had earlier was looking at what we call the business end of Starship with all the Raptor engines. And those are the engines that we're gonna be expecting to light for that flip and landing burn, hopefully in about 10 minutes, once we get through re-entry. Yeah, there we go. All right, that was basically our reverse max Q. So most aerodynamic stress that it's going to see during re-entry, we just passed through it. So we're past that, we're past peak heating. Ship's still holding together. So in the near future, we're hoping to return the ship back to the same pad we just took off on 59 minutes ago. And we've got to do some of these pretty dynamic bankings to, to make that trajectory work out. 
How about that S38 decal there staying strong on that view we just had? <laughs> Good to see the numbers back on. Yeah. Buoys out there. We've got a joke. Oh, there's. You spoke it again, Dan. <laughs> I, there it is. <laughs> They're playing with me in the control room. All right. <laughs> But we have, we have these buoys out there. We have these drones that we're trying to see. All right, coming up on Transonic shortly. It's about two and a half minutes of landing burn. Yeah, and once we get to around the 15 kilometer altitude mark, that's where we have a lot of flight history. Starship is Transonic, starting the belly flop phase of flight. Yep, that belly flop phase that we perfected in the suborbital campaigns. We're entering that now. That would essentially position it so it's right behind the launch and catch tower. Flaps holding strong. Ship landing startup. There's our landing burn. Three down to two. Starship has landed. As we said, we're not planning on recovering the ship today. Hey, welcome back to Earth Starship. <laughs> 